I I am so excited though. I mean, I really have no idea what those wacky librarians are up to. <laughs> yeah. You know. But then that's like the first time I channeled Jesus was when they said to me, you know, gather people and tell them we're going to talk about how they can create a, you know, how they can heal the planet just through their daily lives. And I'm like, okay. Um, and, <laughs> and, you know, it was then like, it was a room, Dahlia, that was the first time you and I met. Yeah. Yeah. It and was. it was a room full of people who, as you may recall, some of them were very angry at yeah. the librarians. Um, my eyes were closed and I was in their collective, but sort of back a little bit in the cluster. And so I couldn't, I didn't see the room like with my physical eyes. I saw the energy and the grids and networks and collect, you know, connections in the room. Right. And, um, <laughs> Hi, Nazi. <laughs> so from the hey, energetic view, I saw people who were in the, um, in the room getting up and threatening my body. They were threatening the librarians. They would have their fists raised up, ready to literally punch and cause physical harm to, hi Denise, uh, to the librarians. They were so angry that the librarians told them that they were personally empowered and which was strange. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, Dahlia was just there on this side, like watching everything. I do recall yeah. your space was very calm. But oh. it was then when uh, Jesus came through the fir for the first time, basically saying, oh, what do you mean one person can't heal the planet? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and I have that in my YouTube channel. So, uh, in fact, I'll find a link to it and post it in the comments for anyone who's curious. But um, so today, um, so everyone who's watching, hi, the librarians came to me and they said that they wanted to do this live stream. They specifically wanted Dahlia Rose of Crystal Cognizance, who is Miss Crystal, <laughs> and Time Master Kim who has a unique way of seeing crystals and somewhere like at the end of March or the beginning of April, um, Kim will teach a class on traveling into crystals uh, at my online school. So get ready for that because that is like a cool trippy class. Uh, Kim has an unusual way, connection with crystals, an unusual way of seeing them that I've never actually like some very devout shamans, you know, and very sacred indigenous healers I've seen, but you have this naturally. So the uh, librarians came to me and they said, we're going to go on a live stream and travel into crystals with Dahlia and Kim. And I'm like, great, uh, what does that mean? They're like, you don't need to understand. You won't even be there. I'm like, okay, not the first time it happened, but. You know, once again, there is no way for me to do any preparation or have any idea. I'm my body will be here, but I am left out of the party. <laughs> I won't know what's happening till I guess later when I watch the video. Um. So, oh hi, cat. So yeah. before, uh, it's great. We have some lovely people showing up. Before we get into this, since I will literally not be here, I do want to, I'm going to put a, a little, in the comments section, a little notice. This coming weekend, in a week, I am teaching a class um, on basically being able to see auras, but it's, the way I teach it is a little different because not 
it's not just about seeing, oh, look, all this color and you have yellow and red and green and orange and whatever. This means this, that means that. There are so many ways of seeing auras, just as there's so many ways of opening your third eye to receive visions and messages. There are many ways to see auras. Um, some of them are more parabolic. Some of them are more emotional. Some of them are extremely visual. Some of them are no visual or just a sense of downloading. We're going to practice a lot of um, fun techniques so that even if you're like, oh, I'd love to see auras, but I can't see auras. Don't worry. You can see auras. You just haven't realized how you see auras and we will empower ourselves. Um, and the other thing is, this is going to be my last big live stream on Facebook. We are moving our monthly live streams to YouTube uh, for a variety of reasons. And um, we're gonna try that out. I think that that will be a more comfortable fit. So yes, I'm going to put a link here to my YouTube channel and I invite you guys to, uh, what do they say, like and subscribe because if you want to catch. Now, after the live stream, we'll post the videos here on Facebook. So if you don't have a YouTube channel, don't worry, you'll be able to see it here afterwards. But if you want to join the live streams after this year, meet us on uh, YouTube. Okay. Um, hi. Oh, great. We got some great people. Sherry, Deb, some wonderful people joining us. Um, I am going to space out while Dahlia Rose and Kim chat. Introduce yourselves. And um, I do want to say Dahlia Rose has an amazing shop that is full of the most beautiful crystals, crystal skulls, amethyst, big crystals, small crystals, just brilliant quality. And um, Dahlia Rose is like a master at a variety of different crystal healing, healing with crystals techniques. It's all love. That's all it takes to be a master at crystals <laughs> is love and obsession. <laughs> Love and obsession. Yes. I have received healing from Dahlia Rose. She is an amazing healer, amazing teacher in a beautiful shop. If you can't get there in person, you can meet with her virtually, both yep. for healings and for crystal shopping. Absolutely. Yes. Okay. So you guys go ahead and I'm going to uh, space out. Um, ladies, after like a half hour, 4.45, if someone could verbally speak to the librarians, <laughs> not just mentally. Bring her back! <laughs> Kim sends them a mental message, and they always get it, but since I'm going to be like so out there tonight, a verbal message, please. <laughs> um, and then, uh, yes. Okay. All right. So this is supposed to be a conversation on crystals, and I know I, where, like, where to begin? I think Kim and I both are pretty obsessed, and I don't know that we interact with them um, in av average ways, whatever that looks like. Um, for me, I've been into crystals since one of my mentors introduced me to a crystal seer called Monty. Um, he's actually in Severn, Maryland. And I was like, talking to crystals, what is that? And <laughs> lo and behold, as I was once one of those people who was never going to put a crystal on my forehead, now they go everywhere. <laughs> so so um, when it comes to healing work, journaling, um, anything like that, crystals are, are my go-to. They're not necessarily my first recommendation for people. Um, from the healer's perspective, everything is a potential healing ally or tool, but um, crystals are pretty high up on the list. <laughs> so what about you, Kim? What's your, what's your experience? Um, well, it was back in California, and I was going with a friend because she just had to have some crystals. And I'm like, oh, I'll go with you, right? Because, you know, you can always use something to come, you know, like jewelry and stuff. Famous and, last words. 
right? <laughs> it's like, oh. So we walked in and um, I found a bracelet that I really liked. And I, I, oh, I think it had, um, I know I'm going to say it wrong, the green stone matchalite. Malachite. Malachite. See, there you go. <laughs> um, and a couple of other red stones that I can't think of right now. And I just, I really liked it and I got it. And then I was just like, oh, hey, look at this. Look at this. Hey, what's this? <laughs> Next thing you know, I've got. Uh, Keep digging in that rabbit hole. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, now I look for stuff that call me. When I walk in, it's like, oh, hey, what's over here? Kind of a thing. And it just, yeah. uh, like I saw that that advertisement you had for the one that's uh, Harold that I have sitting right here with me. Yes. Um, it was just like, oh, yeah, that's mine. Because <laughs> it was an immediate. Well, and you were you were telling me that you were even looking for that type of stone. Mm -hmm. Like it right. had called to the stone itself had called to you and then. Harold <laughs> revealed himself, which I too have had that experience. I actually wanted to share um, Xavier. Uh, Xavier came to me from Brazil and came to me in a dream. And I was like, I don't know who this crystal skull is, but I had told my vendor that I was looking for one and I had the dream. And not two weeks later did he call me and he's like, I got him. And I was <laughs> nice. yeah the one i was looking at was uh i think in the uk and it was uh like eight thousand dollars i'm like well i'm gonna start saving for it and if it's meant to be mine by the time i have the money you know the money will show up right i'll get them and uh he got sold and then a couple months later harold showed up <laughs> so it all works the right way that what the other one wasn't yours but it looks like we have the librarians here now Hmm. Indeed, indeed. It is so enjoyable for us to use these fleshy ears and listen to your sacred conversation. We are enjoying ourselves immensely. Gratitude. Happy to have you. Hmm. Welcome.